Hey everyone, um, I wanted to, to do a proper video of showing you guys how to install the plug for your welder. Um, this machine right here is the Everlast PowerTig 210 EXT, um, but it's going to be the same thing on any of your welders. You should have three wires if it's a um, single face 220 outlet. Okay, you're going to have, this one has yellow and green. Sometimes this might just be all green. Um, this is your, your ground. Okay, your white is your neutral. And your black is your, your hot wire. In all actuality, when you're doing 220, your white is considered hot as well. And your green is your only neutral. Okay, um, what decides the difference between a, a 110 and a 220 outlet is on a 110 your white is is a neutral which is basically another ground and on 220 you're bringing in 120 volts here or 100 yeah 120 volts here and 120 volts here and technically it's 240 but everybody calls it um, two um, 220 so I hope that makes sense and I'm not confusing you guys um, what we have here is our Levington okay this is a you can get this uh, at your local big box har um, hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's. Home Depot seems to be a little bit cheaper, at least it has been in my area. Um, this plug could be set up two different ways. As you see here in the picture, the bottom prongs here are set up horizontally. Um, we're going to go vertical on, on my setup. Um, so, it, it, you know, it does it both ways. This is what you get here. Sorry about this. I'm using my phone as always, so I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, see how it has the, the stars? That's so that you can set them horizontally or vertically. Okay. Um, if you look here, one side is larger than the other. When you when when you're in the vertical position, one size is larger than the other. When you're in the horizontal position, they're both the same size. Okay, this right here is going to be your neutral. This one right here is going to be your um, your white wire, and this one right here will be your black wire. Cut this open. Let me tear it open because I don't know where my scissors are. Now there will be some extra parts in here because like I said this is this is set up to go two, um, two different ways depending on what you need. You're going to get your four screws and that's for your case. Okay and then you're going to get this piece which is your clamp that goes right here. Okay, that goes right there to clamp down on your wire to keep it from pulling the, the wire out. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later because you're going to have to do something as, as, you know, in regards to this. Um, so you, what you're going to be looking for, they give you the four different prongs here, okay? You're going to be looking for, like I said, two of these in the horizontal setup, they're going to be the same size. So you only need one of these, okay? Then you're going to be looking for this one and the smaller prong. Those are the three you need if you have a plug like, like I do in my shop. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to strip these wires just, you know, not, not a whole lot, but I would say about maybe just shy of a half inch. Okay, you're going to want to strip those out and then you're going to want to solder them. Okay, just some regular solder, you know, soldering iron. And, and what you're doing here is, because these are multi-strand wires, you're basically going to want to heat these up and fill that wire up with solder so that it all becomes one piece. So give me just a second here while I get this wire hot enough to solder it. There we go. Now when you're doing this, for those that are new to soldering, the solder will suck into the wire, okay? Once it's hot, 
once your actual copper strands get hot, not your soldering iron, just the copper strands, once they get hot, it will suck the solder inside. So you're just basically just, you're not even putting the solder on the, on the soldering iron, you're putting it onto the actual wires and it'll just soak into it. And that's what makes it solid. Okay, we got those two done. Okay, so we got that all soldered up. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my soldering iron because that's all I need that for. Okay, hopefully all of that was in, in plain view. Let's back this up just a little bit. Okay, now again, for those that are new to soldering, this stuff it's dry. It's already dry. It might be a little warm, but it's already it's dry. It's not li in its liquid state anymore. It's ready to go. Okay. So if you're going to need a, uh, a flathead screwdriver, and I could actually have a better one than this Harper Freight one, but it'll work. And this is why you're soldering this. Okay. This is just a basic. It's, it's smashing down on the wire. That's what this clamp is going to do. It's just going to smash the wire. If you don't solder it, what's going to happen is because these wires aren't very big, they're not a very big gauge of wire, when it clamps down on it, it's just going to pull right out. And, and I'm telling you that just based on experience, because with my first welder, that, that's exactly what happened, because I tried to avoid doing it. So, make sure this is all lined up correctly, okay? So I have this in here, it's lined up. Get myself some more cord here. And I know, again, my white's gonna be on the smaller one, my black's gonna be on the on the larger one. This is the larger one, this is the smaller one. So I'm gonna wanna arrange my wires so that I'm not fighting with this to get them into place. Okay, realistically, I already know that I made a mistake here and I'll probably end up fixing it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. Um, what the mistake is, is this white one and this black one technically should be a little bit shorter because the prongs are a little bit sh closer to this section. Um, so I'm just going to snip off the section that I soldered. Okay, I'm leaving the green one alone. Technically, I should be using a proper pair of wire strippers, but these work. Okay, see how it's frayed out? Just twist it up. And then we'll strip the black wire now. There we go. So now these are a little shorter. <coughs> Let me get my soldering iron plugged back in now that it's nice and cooled off. It's going to take forever to warm back up again. Um, but this green wire is ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide that in here like that. Uh, take my screwdriver and then just tighten this down. Okay, it's nice and tight and it slid right out. See, that's the problem. I'm going to end up building more solder up on this. Um, I don't really have a lot on there, but you don't want that. So make sure that it's it's on there tight. Okay. So let's get this soldering situation dealt with. 
we'll get more solder on these things, build it up a little bit, and we won't have that problem anymore. Okay, got them all soldered up. Got a nice amount built up on the on the ground one. So we're gonna go ahead and get this clamp down again. Or attempt to. Hopefully we got enough built up on there. Perfect. Okay. Take the smaller prong. Actually, what we're going to need to do here is make sure that these are going in the right direction. Um, basically, this is how you're going to have them. You're going to have the screw, the screw head on the insides, okay? Because otherwise, the ends of the screws are going to be in the insides and, and way too close together. So make sure the screw heads are facing each other on the inside. So I'm going to pull out the smaller one, the one that goes for the white wire. I'm going to slide in the wire right now. I need to loosen it up a little bit. There we go. Tighten it up nice and snug. Make sure it's in there good, and it is. And then just push it down into place. Okay, we're going to slide out the, the larger prong. Loosen it up. Put the black wire in there. And tighten it down into place. Okay, make sure it's nice and snug and doesn't pull out. Okay, now you're going to press everything into place. Make sure that they're all the way in. Which this white one is not. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. I have this piece of leather right here. And the reason I'm putting that on here is I'm going to wrap this cord in this. Okay? Um, let me grab, I can actually cut it with this. So. I'm going to want to go around this. And you, you don't have to use leather. I mean, you could use a piece of inner tube or rubber hose or whatever you, whatever you got laying around. The only reason I'm using leather is because I have some from some other projects that I've done. And it's there. So I'm going to set it right here. I'm going to fold my wires in into the plug. Okay, my wires are folded in here, tucked in nice. The leather part and the insulation is in there nicely. Now I'm going to take my, my clamp and I'm going to tighten down my clamp. Okay, let's get this going with my fingers before I use a screwdriver. And just clamp this down tight enough where it's not going to come out. Okay, got it nice and tight, it's not coming out of there. Okay, next, next step is as simple as just putting the cap on.
Okay, caps on. Drop in your, your four screws. And apparently you need to be careful that you don't push out the nut off the back side. If you see here, the nut just fell out of that hole. That's a simple fix. Just push it back in there. And then tighten down your screw. Now you might have to kind of force these screws in here a little bit because you know these are mass produced and just you know the casing is just plastic molds and they don't go in here and obviously clean these up as well as they do so you might have to force those screws into those holes. Okay. And there we are. And that's how you install the, the plug onto your welder. Um, hope that helps out a few people. And if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did the best job I could to help you out. So subscribe, comment, like. Make sure to check out Everlast. Um, I do want to mention this, they are not a sponsor, but if you're interested in this machine, the link will be below. It's an, again, it's an Everlast PowerTig 210 EXT. Um, absolutely, please make sure to go check out AlvarezMetalWorks.com. Um, that's my website. And check out our Facebook page, go like our Facebook page. The link to our Facebook page will either be on YouTube's homepage or on the top of our website. Um, thanks for watching and talk to you guys later.